2012, what a year. Let's start with 2012. It's been a great year for the Cockney Crusader. I hope it's been a good year for you. A lot of important things happened in 2012. And a lot of things didn't happen in 2012. See, let's get a little bit more personal, okay? See, for about five years now, I've had it in my head that it was going to be the end of the world. I was told from different people, left, right, watching bullshit on YouTube about how some meteor is going to hit the planet, how some aliens are going to land and invade the planet. All this crap that never actually happened. It's called a conspiracy theory. Now, Bill, you bring up the fact that 2012 was the year that you broke out, and it was. And you denied the fact that, well, you didn't deny the fact that me and Shiera helped you, because we did. Do you remember when I first met you, mate? It was about a 13-year-old boy, knee-high to a grasshopper you was. I walked into that little place in Raynham where you were fucking around with your mates. And you just didn't listen, mate. You did not listen. Now, I don't know what happened in recent years, but... I was so happy when I saw you come back to the school. Come back to the London School of Lucha Libre. There he was, William Osprey. Now, <clears throat> I actually give a fuck about you, mate, and I'll tell you why. Because you will be the next biggest thing to hit the scene. You're not even going to be the next biggest thing to hit the British scene. Within the next 10 years, you will be everything this industry is about. And I put my career on that, I tell you. That's my word. As a professional, Will Ospreay, you are the future, my friend. I hope more than anyone that in 2013 you go out there and prove to the world what you are saying. But you forget, mate. You're in the ring with me, the Cockney Crusader, Greg Burridge. And until you can beat me, it's all conspiracy theory. <laughs> But as your trainer and your mentor, I do hope you can beat me, but you will not beat me. Yes, you will bump, you will land on your head, but you will not be getting up, my pedigree chum. Now, you say about walking, I mean, get your English right, mate. Yeah, you walked into that door, next walked into that door. Mate, I fucking opened that fucking door for you. If it wasn't for me, you would not be wrestling to all these top promotions in the UK. You do not steal the show at Brit Rest Fest. You do not steal the show at Progress Wrestling if it was not for me. And do you know why? Because I taught you a lot of shit, mate. I taught you so much. But I did not teach you everything. The reason I didn't teach you everything, because I was waiting for a day like January 20th when I can teach you the rest in that motherfucking ring. So Bill Ospreay, you cheeky bastard. Yes, I accept your challenge. <laughs> hmm, challenge. Did you challenge me or did I lure you into a trap? Is this the final part of your training? You're so smart. I'll let you figure that out. See you on the 20th.